Five seconds left on the clock for Betsy. It's gonna decide on the lane impacting champion and run the Twisted Fate. So gonna go for the map plays, maybe will help out against the map pressure that Quinn will be able to put down. Twisted Fate can shut that down very effective. Because when Quinn is looking for that 1v1 against Graves against the Vayne, TF can join in. But only if Origin allows it by being very passive. And it's just about getting Vayne low enough Force back to base. Well, luckily, all the mobility moves are denied. Little Betsy, if he sticks around, when he CC comes in from Power of Evil, this could be problematic. The slow comes in from the vault, and now Soaz is sticking a little far forward. The cocoon into gold card means Soaz is down. He's holding on to his flash as Extinct is coming up. There's no access to Extinct Ultimates yet. Soaz is going to flash over the wall, and Power of Evil, gold card into Insta Cleanse. Now he's the one that's in trouble. Hammer shot comes out as Mithy has been able to roam back. Soaz vaults over the wall. He finds Extinct. The cocoon connects with Mithy. Nobody has died yet. Mithy's looking forward as the Exhaust comes down, Extinct slides oh! and and first blood to Power of Evil! Miscommunication from Rocket! We'll probably continue being behind for quite a bit. Graves is also a good display pushing to sitting inside lane, pushing in. Mithy being fought out. Trouble. You can see Amazing, he's coming in with the Void Rush. There's some support from Power of Evil and a wild growth available. Extinct continues to run away, but he's been tagged by a very spooky looking ghost. A flash forward, Extinct cannot interrupt that, and Amazing with a furious bite in the kill. But he does have that, uh, what was the term? Game breaking ultimate. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Voting to Fisher. Look at the damage onto Soaz. Freddy goes out with the collateral damage, but there's collateral as Origin have started to group. No flash from Amazing. Airwax wow. has already flashed, as has Freddy. Full respect. To the wall, stun him into the wall, and then queue him after, and then you knock him over the wall. It happens as well. Oh, look at Mithy this. Is level five. In so much trouble. There's no unbreakable will available. Sven's been surrounded. Freddy's come up as well. With no tower in the top lane, the global threat of Twisted Fate pays dividends. Two kills. In the side lanes. Alex is coming in for Sven. He's all alone here. He is alone. The flash comes out, but the cocoon still hits. Wild cards and red card to secure it. No ultimate required. So basically, Rocket had pushing in top lane. They took over the jungle. They move in behind with Alex. There's no vision for Origin. Amazing is running in. Here comes Soaz. He's tagged up Airwax. Airwax flies into the air before he flies back to base on the wings of Soaz's auto attack. So Freddy's the bot lane. He's running away now. Saphir? Oh, you in trouble. Enemy Why are you there, man? You do not want to be here. An aggressive play from Power of Evil. He flashed for the knockup. A flash from Miffy as he finds the connect ah, and secures the, the kill with the trample. This is, this is scary. Look at the surround and the support. Why is he mid? There's a gold card and so is his court. He's got a flash available, won't get to use it. That was the most random roam I've seen. <laughs> so, before, Swords went mid. I'm not sure why, ends up dying. Now Origin wants to group together. Because now you force Rocket to send Vayne in towards mid lane and team fight, and here's the fight. Two man knocker from the pulverized of Mithy. He does have Unbreakable Will, and it is not broken yet. Extinct's been bursted low, and Safia's locked out of the fight. He's been zoned away from the front line. Amazing is taking a burst as Safia tries to chase him down. Destiny is being channeled by Betsy. He's looking for the flank, throws out the wild cards. Another against aggressive flash from Power of Evil for nothing. But again, we went from playing three lanes to play A ramp. Basically, every single member is mid, and here's a kill. Airwax is caught out. He's repelled up in the air. Freddy's looking forward. There's no collateral damage to secure the kill, and nobody has died yet. Behind enemy lines is channeled. Soas can move very, very quickly, but you're not quicker than a teleport. Soas is looking for Rest a of way out. Can go mid here. Rest of Origin can, should just group mid. Push up for that tier 2 tower, they There's might even us. And Sephir's in trouble! Look at Origin, they're coming from behind! Power of Evil with the Glitterlance gets the kill! Now Soaz is pinned against the wall as the Wild Growth makes him a gigantic burn! He flashes away for safety. Amazing will be the sacrificial queen of the Xersai. The collateral damage is not enough as the shield from Lulu keeps him alive. Soaz flashes over the wall and the Raptor eats all of the culling. Two kills for Origin. Rocket gave Soas or one. one kill. Still. Damn it, I got so excited! I think this match, if not 20 plus minutes, it is not for Freddy. Yeah, Freddy used it again trying to join the fight, and now, there we go. You fight Soas, then you can go down with Twisted Fate. Uh, Soas is going to try run away. End of the line will be available. Collateral secures the kill. Rocket picks up an easy kill. 
No, Sven now looking forward. He's going to sidestep the cocoon. Mithy does have a flash available if Rocket continue to group up. That's a flash engage. Extinct is knocked up into the air as Mithy is then pinned against the wall. They will run down Extinct. That's the first kill. Sven flashes forward. He had the Lulu move speed to chase Airwax all the way. Now on the other side of the map, there was a trade going on. Soaz is looking to chase Freddy. Has used the Ghost Blade and was thinking to call in Valor for some assistance. Decides against it and Freddy makes that alive. But Origin Betsy will get Baron. the tower. Yeah, Origin started Baron here. Betsy didn't get the mid tower because he has to go in here and stop this source of teleport coming in. Freddy has no TP, so this is only three guys from Rocket. Now let's find out. Mithy's in a little bit of trouble with Finn. It's got so much damage. Betsy finds a gold card onto Soaz and Wild Growth is used to save his life. The Baron's been stopped, but it will cost Safir's life. The tower is secured down bottom and Finn, he is running. He is flinging light at Betsy. The gold card stuns him under the wall. Sven can do the same, and he's looking to do the same. Gold card. First, QSS comes gets out. a little bit too confident. There's too much damage coming down. Look at Betsy. He's going into the Raptor camp. Gold card is primed. Does not find a very good target, though, and will finally throw it out. It finds Mythy as the Unbreakable Will has been used. Amazing's coming in from the back line, and he will get knocked away. Steadfast Presence was already used. Now, Betsy's in trouble. He's knocked up into the air twice as Amazing flash forward to follow it up, but Betsy stays alive. Freddy's the first victim as he's killed by Sven's to attacks. The culling is firing away, making extinct, extinct. Sapphire gets dropped for the triple kill for Sven. We have seen this before here. Lucian gets to team fight, protected by Lulu, buffed up. Sven is becoming the big, big carry for Origin. And the last three, four minutes has just been fights for Origin around Baron, around the enemy tower. The power people has to take and cleanse as a stamina spell because normally if you play against a comp like this, Targeting the Lucian can be too difficult because of all the protection he has. So you try and stun the Lulu, see if you can take her down or stun her while you then go for the AD carry. Cleanse obviously completely removes that fact. For Power Weaver, he can always protect Sven. He's going in again. He really is. Peck is going to be smiling as that inhibitor drops. Sven's going to back away, continuing to get the shield, the life steal. The QSS hasn't even been used, and he's still got both summoner spells. Late game. It becomes very hard for him to play split push. You get forced into team fights. There's too many ways for those to start fights. And there is a team fight. Two man knockup onto Airwax and Freddy. Extinct did not find the pin against the wall. And a keeper's verdict is still being held onto. Sven is forced Airwax away and Sophia gets chunked down. So as isn't even here. This is a 4v5 with Baron buff that Origin have just won convincingly. Another tower will fall. And Origin are accelerating the gold lead. They were down 3,000 gold at one point to be up 7,000. Tower number eight falls. Tower number nine will follow shortly. Rocket are falling apart at the seams. They've got themselves one kill onto Soaz. And they have to go further now. Rocket just needs to force a fight. It's five versus four. But I think it's too difficult. There's too much disengaged margin now. Mistake from Sven. Like, he has to go super, super greedy. Yeah. And just been getting everything. Source is just here being annoying, honestly. He's just in asylum being annoying. Now he can join his team because there's nothing else to push. But just keep looking at Sven. Wow. Betsy has to force his QSS, and then on the next engage, they have to try and take him down. Gold card's been used. There was a knock-up in the back line, though. Now Mithy's continuing to push forward. Extinct is the first target to fall. Power of Evil gets the kill credit. The rest of Rocket, they're running for their lives. And Origin have got super minions for days. They take down the first Nexus turret. Will follow shortly onto the second. The QSS has been used. Soez is looking for Betsy. Help picks will allow those auto attacks to deal more damage. But Origin destroy Rocket's Nexus.